We're finally getting some answers to the question parents have been asking for months. What will school look like in Michigan in the fall? Republicans releasing their return to learn plan today, and it calls for at least younger students to be back in the classroom full time. Fox 47's Cody Butler has the details. Silence from Lansing has been frustrating. Dan Quisenberry is the president of the State Charter School Association. He says schools couldn't plan until now because they didn't know what was budgeted or even expected. Schools need to be able to respond to safety issues and keep uh, academic performance in mind. That's going to be a different answer uh, depending on where they are. You need months. You probably need more, but you've got months to get ready for that. And so that's what we're hoping to do. Republican lawmakers focused on flexibility in the return to learn plan. We want to give some certainty because students want to go back to school. Teachers want to teach physically at the school, uh, but we know it's going to be unprecedented. As part of the plan, schools can start the year whenever they want. Right now, schools need a waiver to start before Labor Day. But the plan does force schools to think about distance learning past the pandemic by limiting the number of forgiven snow days. State Representative Graham Filler says that's why the proposal includes $1.3 billion for schools. And there really hadn't been um, in, an investment to the point that we needed to get everybody ready to learn uh, from home. Quisenberry says he expects that to continue past the pandemic. This is beginning to have a good and important conversation about flexibility there. Uh, expecting outcomes and rigor, but also providing the funding that's necessary. Cody Butler, Fox 47 News. According to the plan, grades K through 5 must have classes in person. Schools will be able to bring higher grades back too, as long as safety measures are in place. The House Education Committee will consider the plan this week. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is expected to announce her return to school roadmap next week.